Hey guys, Mr. T here, just doing another video on triangle properties. So a triangle is any polygon with three sides and three angles. One, two, three, one, two, three. So triangles can be classified firstly by their sides. There's three different types of triangle based on the length of their side. So the first one is a scaling triangle. So that's one where all the sides are different lengths. So I'm just going to randomly draw a long, short, and sort of medium size. So what's going to identify this as scaling? One dash side, a two dash side, and a three dash side. So all sides, um, different length. So that's what makes a scaling. What makes an isosceles? An isosceles triangle, two of the sides are the same length. So this is quite difficult to draw without a ruler, so I'm doing my best. I'm going to turn it around. And the screen has shattered, so um, the pen sometimes going goes into the cracks. So what makes an isosceles is two of the sides are the same. Two sides equal length. And an equilateral triangle, it's sort of in the name there, equal, equilateral, equal. So an equilateral triangle is one where all the sides are the same exact length. So all sides same length. So that's classifying them with the sides, but you can also classify triangles by their angles. So an acute angled triangle is one where one of the angles is acute, so less than 90 degrees. So um, that would be something that looks like a Sorry, not one of the angles, all of the angles are acute. So they're all less than 90 degrees. So something like that. Oh, I need it in black. Like that. That's less than 90. So an equilateral triangle is a good example of one. So um, all angles less than 90 degrees. An obtuse angled triangle is a triangle where one of the angles is obtuse. So, um, well, one of the angles is between 90 degrees and 180 degrees. So an obtuse angled triangle would be sort of like that. And this here is the obtuse angle. And it's really important that the obtuse angle obtuse means that it's between 90 degrees and 180 degrees. It wouldn't be able to form a triangle um, at all if it was above 180 degrees and then you'd have an acute angled triangle if it was less than 90. So what makes an obtuse angled triangle? One angle is obtuse. So between 90 degrees and 180 degrees. And what makes a right angle triangle? Well, one of the angles is right, a right angle. So one of, the, one of the angles is 90 degrees. So it's got a nice little square corner there. Okay? So one angle is 90 degrees. So that's classifying the triangles based on their angles. Now, triangles have some special properties that we use when doing geometric reasoning. Um, the first is that all of the angles add up to 180 degrees. So in this particular triangle here, if I added angle A to angle B to angle C, I know that the answer is going to be 180 degrees. The next thing we have is any exterior angle of any triangle is the sum of the opposite interior angle. So this triangle here has a straight line coming out of the other side. That is the exterior angle here. So the exterior angle is this, is the sum of the opposite interior angles. So opposite to this exterior angle is two angles that are opposite. So the opposite interior angles are those two there. So what does that tell us? What does the property tell us? A degrees plus B degrees is going to be equal to 
x degrees. And lastly, in any triangle, the longest side is going to be opposite to the largest angle. And therefore, the shortest side is going to be opposite the smallest angle. So you can see this B is the biggest angle and opposite to it is the longest side. This C is the smallest angle and therefore opposite it is the shortest side. <coughs> Um, so let's use some triangle properties, or well, one triangle property to find x in the figure below. So two column proof statement and um, reason. So what's my statement? x degrees plus 38 degrees plus 19 degrees is going to equal 180 degrees. Why? Because angles in a triangle equal 180 degrees. This is clearly a triangle, it's got three angles in it, and I know, according to special properties, that the interior angles of a triangle add up to 180. So now, I can simplify this by adding those two numbers, 38 plus, plus 19, so you've got x plus 57 degrees is equal to 180. And I need to use some algebra. I want to get rid of this add 57. What's the opposite of adding 57? Taking 57. So I put that in a box. Why? To make sure that I balance on the other side by putting the same thing in another box there. It's balanced. So 57 minus 57 is going to be 0. So you've got x left over on the left hand side. So on the right-hand side, you've got 180 minus 57, which is 123 degrees. So x is 123 degrees, so it's an obtuse angled triangle. Alright, so that's an example of using some triangle properties to find an unknown. Hopefully that helps you out, and see you in the next video.